You guys know what rhymes with vlog day? Dog day! <laughs> oh no no. <laughs> okay, okay, get out. Okay, get out again. Okay. Okay. Okay, go, go, okay, take him. They got Zeus, everybody. Yay, take him. I already pet him. That's the Zeus master. I already pet him. Go. Take him. I had flashbacks, yeah. That was probably the scariest thing I've ever done. Okay, closing the door now! Yay! <laughs> Dog had teeth of a lemon shark. Morning, guys. Today, we're gonna be with the canine unit. Sergeant Redondo has been going through the K-9 uh, school. He's completed 480 hours of training and today is going to be the state exam in order for the dog to become certified by FDLE and start patrolling out on the street. So they're here, they're about to start the test for FDLE, which is Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Let's go take a look. Two head trainers of canine, or could it only be one head trainer? One two head, head trainer. trainers. Okay, so two head trainers. All right. My name is Officer Stephanie Calazzo. Okay, and then you guys know him from Officer, the canine vlog. Yes, ahead. Officer Bale. All right, so can you guys explain what is going on today? Sure, today we are completing a canine school, mm -hmm. which comprises of at least 480 hours. And uh, today they're certifying with FDLE, okay. which is a minimum, minimum standard. So during this test, you're gonna have, uh, as you saw, obedience, distance control, criminal apprehension, or the uh, sending the sending of the dog to apprehend the subject, right. also releasing of that of the subject on command, also sending the dog and re being able to recall the dog back to you, and uh, false start, which basically the guy the guy takes off, but the dog doesn't move until he's told to. All right, and how many officers are? It how many officers are in the school? Uh, There's four uh, teams, four canine teams, and uh, basically they're certifying. Yeah, yeah. So what, what just happened there? Who are those guys? Basically, those are the uh, county guys, All right. and uh, they're here with us. They usually come support us. It's uh, basically a canine family, All right. and, uh, but unfortunately, they had to go to a perimeter up north. So if they need any assistance, they will be calling us. Okay. So how many how many officers? Four teams. Okay, so four teams. Yes, it's a canine team. It's not just the officers, the officer and the dogs. So I just got team. school. Four yeah, teams. Four teams. All right, and uh, they're already done with the first uh, course or what? Right, just basically what we did was the obedience. So they show that they're proficient in, con in the control of the dog. Okay. Basically, the dog is supposed to demonstrate that what the handler requests is what he does. And here you're going to also see a lot more control. That's basically what all this is about, is showing that we have control over these dogs. So when we send a dog, we are able to recall him if the, if the offender happens to give up or um, if we need to put him on a down or whatever we need to tell the dog, he does it proficiently and on the handler's command. And Steph, this is your first time on the vlog. Yes, it how, is. How many years have you been in K9? Because I know you've been in a, a while. I've been in K9 11 years. Woo! And how many years? I've been in K9 eight years. 11 and eight, wow. 20 years in the city. You, 20 years in the city. 20 years, Okay. Yes. 14 years in the city. 14 years in the city. And still looking pretty. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Azebrayo, what's this uh, course called? This is the uh, area search. Okay, it's the area search? Yes, sir. And this is uh, obviously? Canine Tango. Demonstrating? His ability to find a, a hitting subject in an area. In an area. Okay. 
self-explanatory. On Yanwu. Okay. He's gonna do a building search. Okay. And uh, you're gonna see him and Zeke partake in that. Miami police K9, come on and let your sub you know and release my dog, you'll be paid. Police here saga, police your thief. Miami police K9, come on and let your sub you know and release my dog, you'll be paid. Police here saga, police your thief. Okay, right, so, so we're we done with the inside. Yes, yeah, so we run all our dogs successfully on area searches and building searches. Now we're gonna go finish it up with apprehension. All right, let's go outside and finish it up. Yeah, they got a perimeter of this game. Yeah, maybe, uh, For real? Yeah, but you're certified, man. Congratulations. <laughs> certified. Are you ready serious? to go? Yeah. No. Congratulations. Yeah, bro. Wow. What are the chances? Certified and a perimeter. All right, guys, so as you heard, um, K9's responding to a perimeter. We're actually going to go out there now. A neighboring jurisdiction asked for assistance in the K9 search. I believe they have a stolen vehicle where the occupants bailed out and they're contained inside a perimeter. So the dogs are going to be searching. Um, for now, all the dogs have passed. They're gonna assist in the uh, canine search. Maybe we'll head out there and see if we can hook up a GoPro to one of the handlers and see if we can um, get some GoPro footage of the search. So if a department that's smaller in size, a neighboring jurisdiction or a department in the county uh, asks for assistance, there is mutual aid assistance available. Um, we work under something called mutual aid. So if another agency needs help, in a search with a larger perimeter they'll call for one of our canine units to come help them out um, like i said right now i'm not sure exactly which jurisdiction we'll find out when we get there but our canine units are going to be assisting them so let's go officer coop Hi guys, from Miami Shores. On Come the on, vlog. Baby. What's yes, up, bro? we're on the vlog. I knew one day I'd be on it. Yes. <laughs> Tell me what we got going on. So we got a, a perimeter set up right now. Okay. And uh, we're searching for two outstanding subjects. Okay. They were involved in a, a burglary okay. to a residence. They crashed a car and they bailed out from our officers. All right. So as you guys are in charge, Miami Shores. Yeah, Miami Shores PD. All right. So Miami Shores is going to be the uh, lead agency, and like I said, there's mutual aid. Matter of fact, Officer Coop and I went to the academy together, brother. Right. BLE 253, right? The best, baby. That's right. All right, I'm going to go over there and meet up with our canine yeah, man. guys. They're right over there. All right, be safe. You too, brother. Oh, I'm feeding 
Nine five and club. All right, guys. So we're on the scene. It's a fairly large perimeter. Um, so what we got was burglary offenders. Um, they were in a stolen vehicle. The stolen vehicle ended up crashing, and now there's a large perimeter in Miami Shores. Sergeant Redondo's searching with the county officer. Um, right now, they're starting the search, and Sergeant Redondo is going to be assisting as the cover for the canine handler. Um, on a search, we respond together out here with other agencies, and that's one of the main reasons why we train together for situations like this when there's mutual aid and we have um, officers coming out working together with outside agencies. So. For instance, you have a county officer and a city of Miami officer working together, but they train together. So when situations like this happen, they know uh, the movements and how to communicate with each other and kind of know where to stand and position yourself when you're searching um, for a subject such as this. So they're searching over here in one of these yards and they're gonna continue searching. When we're working in our city, when we're working with other agencies, the dispatch uh, has the ability to patch in the other agencies into one of our channels, uh, making it so we can communicate with them on the perimeter. Because you got multiple agencies with different radios, but the uh, dispatch goes ahead and it's called patching us in and they put us together so we can all communicate with the other agencies. So on a hot day like today, they're gonna be running the dogs. The dogs are, are breathing heavily, their bodies are working hard. So they'll make sure to rest them in between. Sometimes they bring a water bottle with them and give the dog a little drink in between, sit them down in the shade, let them cool down for a second because these dogs are working hard out here in the hot and the heat. So their bodies are going fast and uh, their heart's beating fast. So they don't want to overheat them. The air helicopter up, air unit still up. So sometimes these perimeters can go for hours uh, depending on how big the block is, depending on how the yards are set up. A lot of vegetation, a lot of things in the yard uh, makes for a longer search. While searching for a subject, um, a lot of times we'll get calls from neighbors or from people in the neighborhood and they'll tell us, hey, there's a guy hiding in my backyard or I hear noise on my roof. And a lot of times we'll get phone calls from um, the people that live in the area just giving us a heads up that the person's in the backyard. Uh, for now, it's midday, so not a lot of people are home, a lot of people are at work. So we haven't received any phone calls yet. But uh, as soon as we do receive a phone call, we let everyone know in the perimeter. You guys done? Uh, no. You can feel that dog is in the yard.
you guys were searching through these houses. What happens if you come across like a, a pet dog or something that's in the yard? Well, we usually tell um, everybody to bring their dogs inside, but if we come across a pet dog, we just try to shoo them away. Uh, usually the dogs are scared of us if they're smaller dogs. Right. Um, and also we have to pay attention to the yard to see if there's possibly a dog in the backyard, a big dog. So, you know, we don't just go go in without checking. We have to make sure because the last thing we want is our dogs to get into a fight with a, with a civilian dog. All right, guys, just to give you an idea of how big this perimeter is, it goes about five, six blocks down all the way to the end. I don't know if you guys can see the lights. I'll try to zoom in. Down at the end. And all the way down to where the trees end over here. Point at these trees here. And then all the way down there where you see the police car at the end. With this busy uh, Biscayne Boulevard cutting directly in between the perimeter. So a fairly, fairly large perimeter. We have several dogs out here, a lot of resources. All right guys, so even though when they're searching areas like this that are wide open, they still search every little thing because there are times where you think the subject has left the perimeter, there's no way he's in the perimeter, and he's sitting in a bush just like this one behind us and he's been sitting there for hours. Come across that you know, more than often, so you always gotta be sharp and always gotta be prepared. And you always gotta stay focused when you're on a perimeter. Can't let your guard down. Sarge, pretty big perimeter? Yeah, it's really big. You guys actually broke it into like east and west? Yeah, we had to break it into quadrants because it was it was uh, too many places to search and not uh, not that many officers and canines to go around. So what we did is we searched the west side and uh, now we're gonna go back to uh, the command post and uh, basically issue out the, the east side blocks. You guys run the same dogs throughout? Like, is this dog now gonna go search the no. uh, east side? Uh, no, basically what we do is uh, we switch them out. Like this guy will take a rest because it's, it is a hot day and you don't wanna wear them out. So we run dogs, they'll do one block and then they'll get a, a big uh, break and then the, another dog will run the next block. So basically not to tire them out so they okay. can be efficient. Hey guys, All right. hot day, wasn't planning on a perimeter. Just gonna show you guys the rundown of how, what it takes to uh, get certified, but that's how it is. Training one second, get called out to a perimeter the next. So Zeus and Nas running, right? All right, come back to the uh, church parking lot. We have some uh, H2O. We come up empty handed, then we have to do this block here. So, so the yeah, only thing is, I, I think that's right, somebody right? would have seen him come back north, you know what I mean? Okay. But since he came, this is the church, he came around here, we just want to knock this out here first. Hey, I need three. We got you two with Steph, Ofring and Angel are with Marie. All right, guys, Legion's first search. Yeah, buddy. Got a nickel. Last week, our, 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 our brother Julio from uh, Golden Beach, also a canine officer, went through our school, graduated about two months ago, was shot in the arm and in the back. On a perimeter? On a perimeter, at nighttime, searching with an armed subject with a ski mask. So that's why we take these perimeters very seriously. Absolutely, he was even, ambushed, yes. Even, even an hour, two hours into the perimeter, okay, he's still a right. high alert, correct? Always.
Sergeant Redondo ran his dog. The dog didn't hit on any sense or indicate anybody was inside the perimeter, at least, at least in our section of the perimeter. Uh, we're now gonna go meet up at the command post and uh, wait till all the dogs finish searching um, their section of the perimeter. What happened? Uh, we're getting word now that uh, one of the county dogs just found uh, one of the second subject inside of a church hiding. So he was in the church that we were at the command post? Yeah. We just got word while we were at the command post, they came out saying that there might have been somebody that came in here. So we evacuated everybody and the county searched and they found something like So now we're gonna go see. And that just goes to show you that anywhere, right? Even in a little bush that you guys are right in front of. Right here, right here, right here. On the other side of this green wall. Awesome. Alright guys, so the offender is actually right there in the bushes. You have a unit that's here on a perimeter post and the offender was hiding right here in the bushes. That just goes to show you that, uh, you know, anytime, anywhere, and to always be prepared because there could be somebody hiding. 10, 20, 30 feet in front of you. So the church actually, actually has a surveillance system. So we're gonna go check out the surveillance system now and see if uh, we have footage of the offender running through the property. Okay, so there's our offender. He runs onto the property. And that's the vest that you guys saw that's in the um, in the hallway. Actually runs inside the church, huh? Except that's the hallway. Okay. And there's the shirt there. Or the vest, the looks like a traffic vest. Oh, okay. So there there he is right there. There he is right there. So hidden behind that wall. He's hiding behind the wall. Alright, and that's the last that the cameras get of him, then he ends up inside the bushes in the front there. That's correct. Jose, thank you, sir. You're I, very welcome. I appreciate it. All right. Anytime. All right. Well, anytime, but this yeah. Time. yeah. <laughs> All right, this is actually the officer that got yeah. the apprehended the subject. Thank you. Hey, good job. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs> County K9 representing. All right, guys. Uh, two apprehensions today. Pretty good perimeter. Very good. Very big perimeter. Very big perimeter. Sarge, you got to certify your dog. Yeah, we certified four dogs, then we got a nice perimeter after, and, and a four two hour out of perimeter. three guys. Look guys, we, uh, we were just expecting a certified dog today, and you guys got two apprehensions on the vlog. You never know what happens. Never know what happens on the vlog. Never a dull day on the vlog. That's right. So guys, uh, you know the routine. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next vlog. We're out. Adios. <laughs>